welcome everyone welcome to database training part one about the database actual server so now we start training you about what is the database welcome to database training my name is Chan Suri I'm a bachelor degree of information technology at University of Putti Sastra so now we will teach you about the database training part one welcome what is database? Database is a template or a query actual that start for language for access and multiplicating database. Actual can be accessed multiple data in my actual, actual server or access or all call. Cyber, DB2, and other database system. Actual can execute the query again database. Actual can retrieve data from a database. Actual can insert record in a database. Actual can update or record, can be delete record from the database, can be create a new database, can be create a table in the database, can create a store procedure in the database, and can create a view in the database, and can set a permission on a table procedure and a view. So select the first command that we will study about the database, we will study about the select statement. Select statement, we use it to uh, select, to use uh, select data from database. The result is stored in the result table, cell, and the result set. That means the result set, that means uh, all the result that we select from database, it is a set value from the database, default value. That means uh, if uh, in a database we have three table and one table have uh, another data that have a tie wrong each other that means a different tie of data it will be set default like a different tie also the same the record from the table so now we tell you about the query select so now we can uh, keyboard to select the man select column name column name from table name and as a can we can select guy from table name okay now welcome now we go to uh, the actual okay as we have for the next time we have in the actual already okay cannot connect okay now i open sham we forgot we have to install sham or one before we have uh, run actual server or my actual you can start a patch and my actual okay but a minute it will run we just run only two service because other service we don't need to know and to use okay now we connect again okay cancel connect again okay so this work so now our first slide is talk about the select statement so i will select you so in handy xl if we want to use like i want to use uh, the database like uh, database training so i just click on here and we saw how many table demo and training so now we go to uh, new query we click select guy from guy from demo right select guy from demo that means we select data from table demo that this table demo stay in database training right so we select all data in table demo so we click execute actual show so in this table it have a file record that have uh, ID, that have column ID, column name, contact name, address, ET, postal code, and country. So it is the first command that uh, we learn about the select command select guy from table name. So demo it is the table name, select guy from it is the query query of our uh, select statement and uh, demo it is the table. So if we execute it is the all the data in the table demo. So we have uh, run the second 
query select column name column name from table table name so we start a new query we don't run the same place we need to know so we can select column name so in a table demo we have a column customer name and contact name so i select customer name and contact name so we just select host customer name comma contact name from table demo right okay so it's should select it is the column name so if you're not sure you can copy here copy from here okay okay you can copy okay customer name contact name right customer name contact name is right so that's right it is the column name column customer name column contact name from chapoli demo so start execute right you will I mean uh, we select only two columns in the table demo right? this is the all the full data in table demo but we select only fill customer name and contact name so it's so only fill customer name and contact name so it is the select statement one of these friends between the uh, select by from table demo and select by from select column name from table demo it have different you know select by from demo then when we select all the data that have in table demo right right this it is all the data that have in the table demo it is a select by from table demo that mean we select all the data in table demo and about the select column name from table demo that means we select only some field in table demo not select all the data in table demo like this one we select only contact name customer name and contact name so we select only two field in table demo that the table demo that have a seven field right id customer name contact name address city and postal code country code so in this query, we select only two columns, customer name and contact name. So, include, we use select column from table, that means we use it to select some field of data from one table or other table. And about the select guy from table name, that means we select all table from select all data from table so you clear select column name column name from table this query we select some field or some column in table name not all data in table name we select specific column and select guy from table name then we select all data that have in one table or in table that we want to select right like this select guy from table select guy from demo all the data that have in table demo it will so list on here and this one we select only two field that have in table demo right okay so now we clear about the select statement select statement it is used to select data from database this one is select data from database or from table the result is store the result table that mean uh, we have uh, this table right we have this ball so data after we select it have it have to store result table all the table in the table in the database what are the data type what are the data that we store when we go reselect it's so the same as table in the database also not different okay so I specific I review you again select column name from table name discovery we use it to select some field in 
one table or many table. That means we not select all field in table. We just select to some field in the table and select guy from table. That means we select all data in table. Okay. Now it's clear. So we come to the basic select statement two. Select statement two. The basic select statement two. It is uh, to call before select statement that return the function that return value. That means select statement we use it to return the function that return value. Change column name which keyword us. Show all table. All this free time we will to learn in basic select statement two. Right. So select now. Select now it is we use to select uh, the, the current that that we have nowadays, that we still nowadays. Select sure that, that now, select sure that, current term, we select that, and term that we have, we stay nowadays, term like uh, 644. So it will show like this. Select year, that means it selects it so year and that of nowadays. And so like year now, month and day, that means uh, it will show the year, year nowadays, 2017. Now it is that month, month, since that, that means that as the month, day, day of this, 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 this day, the current day, and calculate that of the birth also. We can use it uh, to calculate that of the birth. So like year now and do underscore or uh, minus uh, that of was that we born. So now we show you step by step. Now we go to select now. It is the select statement, right? So now I just show, uh, show you select now. Why? Select now. So after we execute, test execute. So 2017, 11, 27. This is the year, month, that, term, minute, milliminute. So it is so uh, year, month, that, and the term of the day that we are doing here. And we do it exactly. This, this term, we saw this term, the current term, right? You know, clear? Select now. Now it is the keyword that we use it to select that nowadays that we are doing, term we are doing. So we now do select that. Now we select sure that. What are the spelling? We select sure that, you know? Sure that. So I just test you again. Select. Select. Sure that. What are different between select sure that and select that? Now, we want to know we just execute. So, select sure that then mean uh, it's a like only year, month, and that. Not all term. You know about the select now and mean we select all year, month, that, term minute etc but about the select current that we select key in this keyword and we use to select only year month and that of this day that we are doing discovery if we run discovery tomorrow it will show 28 if we run What's that we run? It will so term it here and that is here. So no clear about the select now and select sure that. Select now it is so all information of the day, full day, this day, this current day. And about the select current that we saw only year, month and that. Okay. Now Go to select sure that and current term. What are these run? Okay. Now select sure that and current term. Now we select sure that already. Current term. You know, current. 
assurance. Assurance term it is the key function, the very static key function that we use it automatically and we call, uh, it will retrieve the data about the term, right? So, sure that it is the same as we done before, sure that, so only year, month, and that. But current term, it is so term, so term, the meaning so that uh, term, what is term? It is 6, 49, about the term global, it is the 18, 48, 15, current term, it is so the term and current date it is so the date year month and date right so make sure you are understand about the current term and current date so we go this another one gory about the select year now what are this friend let's start all together select year now okay now we show you uh, we run open new gory Here now, okay. What is friend? Okay, it's cute. Select year that mean it select only year that we stay now. Now it is two thousand and seventeen. Two thousand and seventeen. So select year we select only year that we stay now no now it is uh, 20 and 17 for next year it is uh, 2018 so when we run this query for next year it will show 2018 it is uh, we change adapt to the term that we run this query not a specific not static it we change every term every year that we run this query select year and then we select solely year right okay so we understand the select year now we go to select year now month she's dead and day now what are these friends select year now already so we click month month she's she's dead is that no yet they we choose now what are these friends we just only combine on the year month and that so that's us execute all together year now it's one it is like 2017 month since that it is like this month this month it is uh, november so eleven november right okay the date it is uh, so like the date of this day so this day is monday it is 27 so it is uh, so like a current date that is the basic select statement in, uh, select statement two right so you understand about here here it just uh, this friend only uh, we add uh, combine between year, month, and day. Day is dead. Right. Okay, now we calculate. We can use a select statement to calculate the year of the people. So now, example, uh, so we go to New Kori. Example now, I was born in 1994. So I want to know uh, what is my age now. So now it is 20, 17, and I want to know now what, how old are you? I mean, uh, I mean uh, how, how old are you or how old I am? I mean, uh, I, I want to know my age. So I just switch. I write Corey, switch. Okay, so let's see here. We click now. Year now, then mean uh, uh, this year. This year, 
year that we run this quarry. So this year it is 2017. So we minus the year that we was born. So I was born in 1994. Okay. So the mean is the same. Uh, we write the same uh, 2017 minus 994. It is same. This is the meaning. But in Cori, we cannot write this one. We cannot write this one. We, we, we should uh, add a query, select this year now, and minus 1994. So, I don't need curry, what time is it? Okay, 23. So, now my age, my age in 2017, it is uh, 23 years old. Right? So, so it it equal uh, it's the same uh, the same uh, uh, 2017 minus 1994 equal 23 years old the same right okay but just yes, uh, we cannot uh, run this command in uh, actual we cannot it is uh, calculate we cannot run the query. So we want to calculate the year. We just run this query. Select year now and 19 we minus the year that we was born. So what are the different? We will run this query if we don't have code the now. What are the different? So let's start. What are the different? So it's cute. You don't know. You have an error in actual syntax. That means we select here, we not in the query, it don't know what year that we want to calculate with 1994. So, if you use choose the year, you have, don't forget to take now and like that. And question, that means you select year now. So, year now it is 2017. So, the mean is uh, here now, uh, I spread you again, uh, here now, here now, here now it equal nowadays, here now, I mean equal 2017, right? Here now, okay. So you understand, you cannot uh, use here without now, because now it is a keyword function for use with here function. Okay, it's good. It is 23 years old. It's about I was born in 1995. It's just tell me you was born and it's cute. 20, 20, 22 years old. Okay. So, now you play about the select statement for statement 2. Select now. I mean we select that. Both year, month, that, and time. About the current that, we select only that. It have uh, year, month, and date. About the select current date, current time, the mean is select date. That have a year, month, and date. Plus current time, time we doing now. Run this query is number 22. 16.51. So you saw like this 15 and 50, so A or 6 and 50 is when it is current term. And so like here now, I mean it show you about the year now. So now 2017, so 2017. Also like here now, because month is the same, it just combine year, month, and that. You know, so like calculate year, it is you need to calculate the year of we was born. So we want to know how how old I am or what is how many your year so that you was born for a long time we just select here now minus nineteen ninety four or minus year that you was born. So thank you for watching for database query select statement part one. So next time we need to study select part two. Okay. Thank you for your watching.